Dehydration can do it. It certainly can. Being dehydrated can actually affect the kidneys and in some cases can damage the kidneys. That's right. If the dehydration is bad enough and in the right person, kidney damage can actually happen as a result of being dehydrated. It's one of the reasons why we say that it's important to stay hydrated. Now, you guys have heard me say, uh, don't just go chugging the liquids because you actually can drink too much water, you can drink too much liquid, so we don't want that. But being dehydrated can actually be a risk factor uh, in many people for kidney damage. We are talking about nine things that can actually damage your kidneys you want to be aware of. By the way, keep watching till the end because I have, uh, say, the one question you want to make sure that you ask your doctor about your kidneys that is such an important piece of information you want to have on hand. Let's move on. Uh, number two is taking too many pain medications. That's right, especially the over the counter pain medications in the class NSAID, N-S-A-I-D, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. There are many medications over the counter that we take for pain and for aches and, and aches and pains and things like that um, that are perfectly okay in many people. Um, but in some people, this class of medications is not healthy. Uh, it can be harmful. Uh, and if we take too many, uh, they can actually damage our kidneys. So uh, over-the-counter medications in the class called non-steroidal non -steroidal, anti-inflammatory drugs. Um, we often think of things like ibuprofens and stuff like that. There are many uh, drugs in that category, but too many of those can damage the kidney. Number three, supplements. That's right. This is why I've always said, guys, just because they say it's natural and it's supposed to be, you know, whatever, doesn't mean that it actually is safe and healthy for you. I have actually seen people take or take too many supplements of certain kinds and it actually damage their kidneys. Please beware of supplements. And as I always say, don't take anything before your doctor knows about it. And also let us know any supplements that you are on because sometimes it's not until things start going awry that we loop back and say, hey, are you taking anything else that we discover supplements and stuff like that? So beware of supplements uh, in the right person and of the right kind uh, sometimes can actually cause kidney damage. All right, number four, too much salt, okay, for a number of reasons. One of them is that too much salt can increase your risk for high blood pressure. We know that high blood pressure is a risk factor for kidney disease. And there's other reasons why salt is, is not great for the kidneys and so many other <laughs> organs in our body. But too much salt, uh, that dietary element we want to be very aware of. And I'd also say in terms of dietary stuff, too much protein. And certain people can also be a problem as well. Not necessarily everyone, but if, if it's the perfect storm and the right person, um, too much protein can also be a problem. Okay. Number five, illegal drugs. They're bad for pretty much every reason, right? They can also be really bad for your kidneys too. So uh, as we always say, just say no, uh, stay away from illegal drugs. All right. Number six, believe it or not, overtraining. What do I mean by this? Uh, every now and then you might hear somebody who uh, took a really intense spin class or did a really intense workout or things like that. And all of a sudden started feeling, you know, really tired, muscle pains, muscle weakness. Uh, they went to the hospital and ended up in uh, something called rhabdomyolysis, which means that the uh, tissue is breaking down, muscles breaking down, etc. Um, a, a condition like that, which by the way is not common, let me just be very clear, um, but a, a condition like that can uh, easily cause kidney damage because um, the kidney is responsible for filtering out stuff and it can be very difficult to do uh, when you have a condition like that going on. So I say the idea of overtraining um, not as a common cause of kidney problems, but as uh, a more rare cause, but one that could actually happen. So it's to make you sort of aware of this idea that you know, don't ever push yourself to a, like the point of no return. Um, listen to your body when you're working out and other things because you know, yes, we want you to work out, but there actually can be downsides to that too. Uh, just as a reminder. Okay. Uh, all right. Number seven: uncontrolled diabetes, high blood pressure, uh, heart disease, things like that. By the way, these are all risk factors for kidney disease. If your diabetes is not controlled, that is a risk factor. Um, diabetes is a risk factor in and of itself. Um, if it's uncontrolled, it's even even worse potentially at least as a risk factor same thing with blood pressure you know uh, we want to make sure that your blood pressure is controlled okay so this is very very important keeping your underlying conditions um, in control is very important I would say number eight uh, be aware of your family history, okay? Uh, it's not that family history is going to make your kidney disease worse. What, it, what I really mean by this is that your family history may oftentimes play a role in what you may be more likely to develop or not. If you have a family history of certain types of kidney disease, it may mean that you're more likely to develop certain types of kidney disease 
on your own, uh, on your own self. So you want to know about this uh, and be aware of this. And of course, tell your doctors about your family history. And the last thing is smoking. Okay. We know smoking is not good for so many things. It's also not good for kidneys. And one of the reasons, one of the many reasons uh, is that smoking um, actually can damage blood vessels, which um, can then decrease blood flow to the kidneys, which can cause damage that way. I'm sure it can damage the kidneys in other ways because we know smoking is not good. It can damage so many organs. So I don't want you smoking for any reason, to be honest with you, okay? Um, we also know that smoking can increase your risk of a high blood pressure, also kidney cancer as well, amongst the other list of things it can do. So guys, the idea here is, um, and I'm gonna tell you that thing and I want you to ask your, uh, your, uh, your doctor about because this is really important. But you know, overall, we want you living a healthy lifestyle, keep a healthy weight, eat a healthy diet, etc. Avoid some of the extremes that I talked about, either with diet or with exercise, stuff like that. Know some of the other risk factors that I mentioned as well. So the thing I need, as I mentioned in the beginning, the thing I need you to ask your doctor about, and I want to um, thank a doctor colleague of mine, Dr. O, I'm going to call her, who is a nephrologist. Uh, and she reminded me to remind you all to make sure that you know your GFR, that's your glomerular filtration rate, um, and your kidney stage, okay? Your doctor will know what that means, but that's information about how well your kidneys are functioning. And knowing that is going to be helpful for you when you go into many medical situations where you can tell people, hey, this is my kidney stage, this is my GFR. It will help them know what medications they can prescribe and things of that nature. So that is directly from a nephrologist, which is a kidney specialist, from her mouth, uh, to to my ears, to you, to your ears. Um, I hope this is helpful, guys. I'm Dr. Jen Caudill. I'm a practicing family physician and on-air health expert and video creator. I do daily videos. If you've not liked and followed my page, I invite you to do so. For those of you who send stars, I respond to you personally and consider my, joining my, um, my subscription group, Dr. Jen Superstars, for exclusive content, guys. I love you. Mm, talk to you soon.